All right. Okay. Yes, yeah, uh, Zimmy, I see you uh, on Twitch uh, talking about Fallout. I just did a Fallout 1 stream, or uh, for the first Fallout. I uh, did a stream of that not too long ago, so... Uh, I mean, it'll happen again, but we did just do it. Uh, come on. Hey, good morning, Adam. Good to see you. Okay, so we're just going to start a new game. Uh, they... I, I'm on the beta for their newest update, too, so we have an update going. Josh, welcome to the stream. Cyrus, hello. Dresdom, hello. Hentai Spider, hello. <laughs> yeah, you made it on time. Berg Nut. Hello to you as well. Well, this will probably be a lower viewed stream than uh, my Fallout ones. Uh, this game has gotten quite a bit of flack, so... I believe they did add the eat button, Ruds. I do believe that they did. Z Zimmy, I, uh... I'm, that's All what I'm calling good? you, Zimmy, over there on Twitch. Just do what you did I, last time, and you'll find. Set your name at the beginning Follow when I said that I just did a... Hella, Just did a first Fallout delay, stream not too long boss ago. Lady knows best. Exactly. Knows first time seeing one of the streams. Well, uh, hope you enjoy it. Just like any other job. Go steady. Go Dude, Josh, I like, I like Starfield. Uh, some people don't. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, totally. It's just like, um, yeah, I work in the Stardock. Except uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. But, uh, yeah, hey, Zimmy Quavac is, was is solid. there. And, you know, I was honest, calling you exactly Zimmy. ZMI. That's why I keep him around. Over there on Twitch. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Alice says a Hell, beautiful game. This, I like it. We'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats I get, itself. Uh, the criticisms yes. people have of it, no for sure. For Alice sure. There's okay. definite improvements He's that could be made baby. around the board, but uh You know, most entities don't even I make it this it. far. I have a good feeling about you. A group hug now or at the end of the shift? One of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. All right, here we go. Okay, let's see what we've got. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive. Today. Yeah, we'll see what the DLC brings uh, there, Josh. The Shattered Space Remember DLC that. is confirmed. Keep your breathing steady. Um, and never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend They the promise yeah. major updates yeah, every six vision. weeks, at the very least. Here. So at least, you know, at least you know they're doing something. We'll see, uh, we'll see okay. what happens. A job like this in the United Colonies? <laughs> Ugh. Look at this one over here. Calvert! No! Ah, no, no, no! It's a laser, not a sledgehammer! Ease up! Benning, if you got paid for a break, you'd be a millionaire! Let's go! Yeah, yeah, okay. What do we say, Dusty? You make your cut, you get your cut. No exceptions. Come on, pick it up! Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Oh, my God. Well, okay, then. Let's call this one tapped. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Yeah, if you're, um... Yes, ma'am. If you're debating whether or not to play it on Game Pass, like, it's definitely worth your time. If, like, I can understand somebody being like, I don't want to pay full price for it because of some of the criticisms I've seen. Like, that makes sense. But, like, uh, if you're debating, like, oh, should I play this on Game Pass? Yeah, man, absolutely. 
At least, I, in my opinion, it's worth your time. Some people Dusty, might disagree. Take that what build am I going for? Not quite can. sure. Uh, I like having a good amount of, uh, you know, speech skills. But we'll, we'll take a look. Busy. They need to add the ability to change your traits and such when you get a new game plus. Ready, boss. Get back up here. Come on. Time. First playthrough? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, bowler hats and beers. This is uh, probably the fourth or fifth run I've started. One of the runs that I did, I got to, like, New Game Plus 5. Um, so, no. But I started a certain new game because uh, there's an update that I'm, I'm in the beta of here. And then also, um, it's easier to follow the VODs for people if I didn't just start in the middle of the game, you know? Problem? Uh, not if you consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. I don't. You don't? What we're after? It'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told, anyway. Okay, now you're starting to... What did the out. update add? Um, I'm not sure of the complete change log Come off on. the top of my head. But I know that there was some settings that got added. Let me see. I'm almost certain field of view got added. I'm not seeing it though. I thought some display options got added. Maybe that's an interface. Huh. Uh huh. So field of view got added. Um, I know that some other there, there's a change log online. We're getting close. I think. Yeah, everything is just. <laughs> Lynn, seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. Uh, <laughs> why would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? Both of you do your jobs. The map Client filter, yeah, they need way. to improve the map. The, um, Camelworks, in my opinion, perfectly fucking explained a lot of things that needed to be done. Was it Fudge Muppet or Camel Works? I, I do get them confused sometimes. It could have been Fudge Muppet. Uh, anyway, one of them um, went uh, made an incredible video readings. where they I, just I went through just every little thing that they thought you know would be good to improve on. <laughs> and one of the things they mentioned the most was points of interest being like existence but like if you're walking through a planet actually have some points of interest like you know littered about uh, they made the point that there was there's a good rule it's like every like 60 or 90 seconds that you're walking you should just you should discover a point of interest no matter what directions you're going so it does sound like camel works it was fucking it's a great video Bringing up making me feel bad with your review convinced me to get the game when I came out. <laughs> a lot of people got mad, like like hey, legitimately I got Come heat on. from both okay. sides. Take it easy. Over my We're review of Starfield. Uh, no physical Bethesda damage. thought I was being I too harsh on them out. with how I was speaking uh, about you know it. Who you are? New and for Argos extractors? Ring any bells? Any well, I was letting him familiar? finish. But uh, it led to me and Bethesda not having a working relationship anymore because like they were trying to control what I tweeted and I didn't like that. It was weird, it was a weird dynamic that I wasn't enjoying being a part of. And um, after that, people that had watched my like first, I wouldn't even call it a review, that was my first impressions, um, are like, oh, you know, like, you convinced me to buy this game and it's fucking terrible or whatever. And I'm like, okay, fuck. Like, <sighs> it made me realize that uh, I'm not ever going to do the whole give me this game early and then I'll cover it 
situation ever again. That way people, you know, no matter what, won't think that I'm being shilled out by Bethesda, and then Bethesda will have no right to tell me I'm being too harsh on them and end our working relationship. Really chat my ass the way that uh, all panned out. Um... Oh, I like that. Let's see what we got here. Thirteen. All right, I do enjoy his facial hair. Um, yeah, that's fine. That one, eyebrows. Go with that. Uh, stick to that. There's a reddish tint to his hair, but the eyebrows looked a little weird. That's really all I care about when it comes to designing the character. Okay, what are you guys saying? Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, couldn't be worse than other people's reviews. Well, just some people thought I was being disingenuous because I got the game early. I got the game like two weeks early. And, uh, I don't know. It, it fucked with my, like, perception, in my opinion. That's what I'm saying. Uh, Buller, well, Buller Hats, uh, the, the only time I've ever worked with Bethesda is during Starfield. I'd never, I'd, I'd never even talked to them before, but I've always been... Um, critical of them because they make my favorite games, so I'm, you know, fucking critical of that because they're my favorite games. Um, let's see. There's one that I really, yeah, The Diplomat, because it gives me persuasion, commerce, and fucking wellness. And then, uh, our traits... So we got the diplomat background. Um, I'm gonna be neon street rat. Um, we'll be raised universal and an empath. Right, so this is the build I'm going with right now. Um, through the game, you can talk to people to change these. Uh, so maybe we'll do that as we go if we don't like them. But this is what we're uh, going with. But yeah, Max Chad this run. Okay. You know what? Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. You know what? No, 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 no. Dick Lord. Dick Lord. Captain Dick Lord. All right. I think we're good. Name character, he, him, Dick Lord. Huh, forgot. Yeah, the man bun. Absolutely. Right? Slightly a You maniac. must have said the wrong words to the wrong people to wind up here. Well, you got the Diplomat sample. man bun. <laughs> Client's on his way, and then we all get paid. Do you remember anything that happened? Hey, HP, uh, PZ, it's good to see you. Richard Lord. Yeah, Uncle Cha, you, you get it. Easy there, high flyer. Probably just the endorphins. Richard Gaylord. Holy shit. Out. Hentai Spider. That's uh, going to become one of our fucking new names. You're Holy fuck. Out. Richard More Gaylord. We got what we were oh. looking for. All this fuck. trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. My voice got deep? Never mind what it looks like. Is there something going it's on with the audio? Like, is my, is my voice, like, super deep? Speak of the death. That does happen to the mic sometimes. It's a mod. I didn't even know that there was really mods released for uh, Starfield. So, uh, no, this is vanilla Techromancer. You think it sounds uh, normal, Brigna? Okay, content? good. That freaked me out. Uh, one time, uh, oh, wait. sometimes my audio recorder work? does that. Where I'll be like, I thought they were kind of a joke. Uh, recording joke. something, I go back to listen You're to it, and my voice is like, hey, how's it going? It's like hey, I'll slow down saying, and shit. Um, so that does happen Hell, sometimes. I bet half the 
through here doesn't even oh believe sure they really just exist. take my stuff all yours <laughs> hey thanks but it's still there same with constellation yeah but exploring space doesn't i don't need to worry about any of that shit already got complicated enough not to them apparently Yeah, voice sounds different. Haven't heard you in years. What the fuck? Now, now you're re-freaking me out. Audio is good? Okay. Maybe your cadence is more laid back right now compared to videos? Yeah, well that's definitely the case. Yeah, I'll take the guy's sandwich. Yeah, alright. You need some coffee or something? Got a packet down here somewhere. Uh, hey, that was my sandwich! Okay, we'll quit doing this shit. How they suck are you to join? We're gonna need to put on our shit. Uh, it's been a minute since I played this. Ball for the fancy pamphlets. Also, their big reveal here is not nearly as neat as, uh... The Fallout games and, uh, Skyrim. I do like the voices to be louder. Hey, Troy, you have a good one, man. Yeah, Jason, number 15. Discovery class? <laughs> when he shows up in fucking Smiley Friends, it gets me every fucking time. Come on, let's go. Dude, the Daily Dose of Internet guy just sounds like a positive Leafy to me. It just sounds like Leafy being super positive. In fact, I thought it was like his alt for a while. They sound so much alike, it's fucking ridiculous. Possessed, are you talking about for Starfield? Did I get emotional? No, I actually didn't. Uh, yeah. Barrett? It did not make me emotional. Man. I found myself uh, being like flabbergasted a lot by the game, it's been a long which time. I enjoyed. <laughs> uh, yes, it has. That mine on Bendy, right? Kazal, hellhole, like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new guy found it. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Kazal. And no, Barrett. Not cool. He passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that right, cowboy? Went so my voice doesn't sound slowed down or way too low to anybody? Because that freaked me out in the chat. I'm just making sure we sound good. Everybody said the audio sounded good. I like the voice acting in this. Slightly a maniac. I'll just, I'm going to start calling you maniac. <laughs> that fun, huh? You're good. Not Thank you, Bergnet. Voice hey, is fine. Been there. This Look, just hand over is the democracy and manifest. I never see this thing, or you ever again. I find, I, dude, everybody I always says, "Oh, you said they could just hook up, you sound tired." That's why I, um, I bought a webcam. It's on its way. I've got my green screen going. Uh, though I have some of these things already, I got new versions of them. And uh, then maybe people won't think I'm fucking tired all the time. I did take a nap and then wake up a couple hours ago. So. Come on now. Uh, Let's go.
back the fuck up before you get smacked the fuck up. that anyway. Change that to one, please. Oops. We did it. Fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you're uh, no, Beth, uh, Bethesda. Uh, you're coming with me to probably didn't even watch my review, honestly. Buller hats. I mean, I'm sure some of the devs did or whatever. Uh, the review wasn't the problem. They didn't like what I was tweeting. Um, my review is stellar of this game. My first impressions of this game, I was like, this is the fucking best game I've ever played. Uh, well, not I didn't say that, but I said it was fucking good. You know. Um. Marvelous. Oh no, Barrett. I'd be tweeting no. things in the fucking you think you're just going somebody to that works the there uh, would hit oh, me up right. all the fucking time in my I DMs telling me well, well, the people at the office really won't How like this tweet and you know in the future it'll make it a place. little more difficult for you to get I know, I know, work from other studios if you continue to talk like this because I'd say something like fucking you know Bethesda don't tell me you can't feel it uh, Fine. like I wanted uh, the Fallout here, Twitter Dusty. account to follow me back on, on Twitter, and they just couldn't fucking do that. And I was like, Good, dude. you know, <laughs> what's the big fucking deal for the most part? Like I, I, I like, made a comment about it, and they, they were up in my DMs talking just about how go. I need to be more respectful and shit. Before and I, I it's just not my bag, regret. man. If I have something to say, well, and then like I, I showed the employee a meal. The same day, a mule was like, oh hey, the fucking players don't know what they're talking about, this game isn't boring, you're just not playing it right, fucking just attacking people who were criticizing it. And um, I sent that article to the employee and said it looks like I'm not, because the employee said you need to watch your emotional outburst because it's going to affect your working relationship moving forward with other companies. Like implying that they were going to forward the things that I said to anybody I tried to work with to get me to not get work if I continue to criticize them so heavily, which really pissed me off. Like it was just like, are you fucking kidding me? So, um... I sent them an article where, you know, Emil was talking all this shit, and I was like, looks like I'm not the only one prone to emotional outbursts, and they're like, don't send me this, because you're just making things harder on yourself, yada, yada, yada. And I said, harder on myself how? I don't fucking work for you. <laughs> like, I'm not an employee of Bethesda. Um, like, I, I don't fucking work there. Uh, I, my obligation, you gave me Starfield early, to make a first impressions video, to make content on it as it was coming out day of. I upheld my end of the deal and then some because I praised it heavily to the point where I lost subscribers and shit because people thought I was being biased. See, that's the problem with the and then they have the balls to fucking take everything for granted. DM me over oh, and over and over again about politics. how my conduct on Twitter We're isn't becoming of somebody who works with Bethesda. Johnny I don't want to kick bricks. I don't fucking space. care. Without us, like, the galaxy is it's just, just a yeah. big room with the lights me off. turned out. Like, I'm not gonna fucking... That, my friend, is the not criticize you just question. because he gave me Starfield two weeks early. I bought it twice anyway. I bought the help. special edition on uh, Xbox and the special edition on fucking the loop, like uh, Steam, you. and then I got and it I early, so I already had spent two hundred fucking dollars on the game. So it's not like I got it for free. Like, fuck him. That's what I said. It all came to a head when they uh, when they implied Todd Howard didn't like something that I said. They're like, well, I j just so you know, everybody at the office saw this. Everybody. And they weren't, like, happy or whatever. And I was like, dude, I don't give a fuck if, like, if you're trying to tell me that, like, Todd Howard didn't like my tweet, he needs to do something better with his fucking time then, if that's the case. 
I highly doubt that the top of his list is me talking shit about a video game. Captain it was just fucking dumb. It was a dumb, like, weird scare tactics from an employee that I don't even know why they were taking it so personally. They don't work on the games. Their job is a fucking being a community manager for Bethesda, not... No, it was a rep. No, it's definitely a rep because they're the ones that sent me the code for the game early. They're the ones that are in my emails with the NDA that I had to sign and all that other stuff. It is definitely a representative of Bethesda. They are a community content manager there. It, yeah, like Maniac says, it was a, a stupid, sad attempt at trying to, like, scare me into not posting things they didn't like on Twitter. It was fucking embarrassing, is what it was. And it made me tell them to fuck off. It made me, do, like, hey, oops, didn't mean to do that. But it, like, literally made me tell, like, I, I like, literally ended it. And, like, Epic Nate uh, has a working relationship with this person, too. And he's like, oh, Mantis. <laughs> he fucking, <laughs> I was like, dude, I couldn't take it anymore, Nate. I couldn't fucking take it anymore. So yeah, I told him to fuck off. Long story short. Too long didn't read, I told Bethesda to fuck off because I wasn't about it. But when anybody ever wonders why, like there's, when there's Layoffs, like I, like the layoffs that just happened th through Microsoft and some Bethesda people are on there. I think it's sad that they lo like people lose their jobs. I don't want to see anybody not have a job anymore or anything like that. But some of these people that got laid off, everybody's kissing their ass, like, oh my God, it's so sad that you're gonna be gone and whatever. And these are people that have never even acknowledged my existence as a like, and I'm a, I'm not like some you know like. I'm the top Fallout content creator. Blah, 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 blah. You know, uh, it's it's more about like I am a Fallout content creator in the Bethesda sphere. So it's like not being acknowledged by these people does sting a bit when you see other people doing less and getting acknowledged by them. So when I see some of them get laid off and people are all kissing their ass about it and oh I'm so sorry and like you don't see me saying that to them it's because they never acknowledge my existence either like I, I don't want to see them lose their job but I'm not like I'm not gonna sit there and suck their dick uh, because I want more brownie points from fucking Bethesda or whatever I don't know I am actually a big fan that's why I'm so critical uh, Josh is because I'm a fucking fan of this stuff and I want to see it do well Uh, Captain Crewmate, you have a good night. Right, come on now. Two more Crimson Fleet ships are jumping into our location, oh, Captain. Boy. Kane Wilson, good to see you. Fat eight dollar super chat. Another time when I was talking to an NPC, ripped its face off, revealing Todd Howard to tell me by Skyrim. Oh my God, big if true. Thank you, Kane. Uh, I appreciate that big time. In short, they are after the frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet captain. 
A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete, a perfect staging area for pirates. Alright, well then, uh... Let's fucking go. Uh, set course, please. Dink Confessor Cabal. Did you get a gift sub? If you're using the members only uh, um, emojis, and I, I can't see your membership status on the chat that I have right now, but if you're a member and you didn't do it yourself, then it sounds like somebody maybe gifted it to you. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck am I doing? That's not, that's not how we do this. Alright. What's my top five games from 2023 till now? So just up 2023 then? Um, Starfield is on the list. Really like Baldur's Gate 3. I always have liked Baldur's Gate. Um, I haven't played uh, Hogwarts Legacy yet, but I own it and I plan on playing it. Uh, and I imagine that's going to also be in one of my spots. I don't play a whole lot of brand new games. Mortal Kombat 1 was fun. I'd throw that on the list. What about you guys? Uh, what, what are your what are your top games that have come out recently? Power World was fun. I played some of that. Oh, Mario RPG Remake, top tier. That's on the list. Same with uh, Mario... Uh, Wonder. Super Mario Wonder. Fucking really good. Kane with another fat eight Australian dollars. As soon as you completed the main game, it turns into how fast can I speedrun new game plays? Yeah, sometimes. I, I, I understand that. Uh, I definitely understand people's criticisms uh, with Starfield big time. Yeah, I play a lot of old games, too. Dead Island 2 was good. Uh, I haven't played the Dead Space remake, Josh, but I, I enjoyed Dead Island 2 when I played of it. Oh, I don't have my boost yet. Fuck. That could have been brutal. Sonic Generations is getting a remaster? Hey, there was that one, what, Sonic Frontiers. Uh, that's another one that I own, but I haven't played. It's in my backlog, and I am interested in playing it. I'm trying to kind of scan some stuff while we're here. It's dust root. Let's go. Yeah, I just recently this year got a super fucking decent uh, PC myself, so. I, uh, I played some Cyberpunk. Uh, I'd count that as like a new release because of how much they've updated it. Um, having a great time with Cyberpunk. That's another one I should probably just stream. Uh, this isn't like Fallout 4. Like you can use stuff at like settlements and shit and like build your stuff. But uh, it's not like Fallout 4 in the sense that, like, you should pick up everything. Because in Fallout 4, I pick up fucking everything. And in Starfield, I feel like that's not super necessary.
Doesn't mean there's not stuff to pick up. Cred stick. Fuck, dude, I hate digi picking. I forgot about digi picking. I feel like lock picking was not broken and did not need fixed. planet that tries to copy Titanfall 2? I'm not sure, honestly. Is there a skeleton key in this game? I don't think so. Um, we're on the moon of Crete right now, so I don't think it's the Titan anything to do with Titanfall 2, but I'm not familiar with Titanfall 2, so I wouldn't know. Um... Yeah, that too, Josh. It's like, you, you go to unlock stuff. With digi, uh, digi picking it, it takes for fucking ever, and then it's like, oh, cool, a bowl of pho. drinks milk on the toilet? I don't know, man. Us now. The terror morph is loose. I repeat, the terror morph is loose. Do not engage. If you can reach yeah, the terror morph, that, yeah, that was a fun little quest, too, honestly. just to make sure there's nothing here that uh, gets added to us or anything. go. God damn it. Okay. Okay. So this one. Okay. Hate it. 
Okay, we're keeping our eyes out for books that give us uh, Earth locations. I thought one of them was in this area. Oliver Twist, it's right there. So now we have the London landmark on Earth. Christ. I haven't been checking to see if uh, we can just eat things like people wanted. Yeah, consume. R. Okay. AI Starfield that needs to be worked on too. The enemy has vacated his location. So I switch guns here. Okay, um, yeah, fuck it. We'll actually, no, actually, we will, uh, where's boost? We'll get our boost now. Thank you very much. the melee key. V. Okay, that's it. Warning. Damage received. Yeah, gun bash. Well, we we figured it out at least. Uh, maniac. Okay. Okay. I really hope I pass this speech check when we get out there. It 
loose. The Terramorph is loose. We can't stop it. When, when we tried to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It killed Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. I'm, I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good freaking Hey, luck. Sora Core Music, good to see you. I know it's safe. I'm going to make a run for Hello, the back at you. Try to call in the cavalry. This is Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist. Wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. Peace is no longer a viable option. Ah, fuck. It's not even worth it. Okay, that can go either place. Okay. Um. No, not yet. Okay. Hate that shit. So needlessly complicated. How do these work? Yeah, you just line them up and uh, fucking put them in, but it, they get more complicated as they go. Luckily, uh, you do get little perks that nearby. can we make it a make little easier. But Provided you had some picks and a disregard for personal property rights. Yeah, you just kind of look for where they fit, and you hope that you don't use one that needs to be used later. Yeah, alright. So now, I hope I pass this, uh... Pass this fucking persuasion check. Out here we are gonna look around for a minute. It would be advisable to leave some things behind. Okay, I just became over encumbered, which is nice. You gotta be kidding me. The frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? Uh, yes. Oh, <laughs> no. You see, maybe your colleague Barrett didn't tell you, but there's a bit of a legend surrounding that ship. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays, the loot from a hundred planets, and it's going to be ours. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. Okay, here we go. Let's persuade him to not take the ship. You're not talking us out of this score. You have it all wrong. They aren't? You sure? 
No, fuck you. I'm not falling for that. Your ship is loaded, and we won it. Uh, Josh, my day's been good. I hope uh, your day's been well. This whole thing is starting to cost more than I'd like. Can't believe this. There isn't any treasure. We've been trailing that old constellation ship for nothing. Get out of here. Take well, your Sora. Robot and your I, ship I enjoy the game quite here. a bit, Sora Core. I see you all again. Some people dead. have some very valid criticisms we for it. I have my own as well, but to travel to constellation it is a uh, fun game. I enjoy uh, the the story of it. I enjoy the world, the universe that we get to explore. The reason I'm doing this is because we are uh, over encumbered. So if I aim my gun, I can walk. I, it feels like I'm walking a little faster while not draining my oxygen. Hey, you have a good night, Dresden. I could just ditch some stuff, it's really not that important. Oh, well, Sora Core, thank you very much, and thank you for stopping by the stream. I appreciate, uh, appreciate you checking out my stuff. Scanned. Oh my god. We should scan Crete while we're here. Captain Dick, to reach the lodge, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Do not worry, this will all become second nature before too long. Um. Abyss, is, abyss, is, abyss I, I like it. Anyway, asked, uh, you think they purposely made them inaccurate to fuck with people? I'm not, I'm not quite sure what you're referring to, but uh, maybe, but probably not. Uh, that, that that usually isn't a reason a dev would do something. Um, yeah, I like the New Vegas DLCs as well. Oh, the guns? Yeah, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I'm not a big gun guy, so I never really noticed anything like that. Oh, the old Earth ones? Yeah, yeah I have no idea. Uh, though I did like that we could find old Earth guns. I thought that was neat. Yeah. There should be a fucking... Yeah, there it is. Store all resources... Or all that shit. A lot of uh, plus five health and O2 here. This one. Uh, do that shit with the weapons too. Whoops. Okay, we'll just keep these on us for now. That one can go away. Okay.
We're gonna see if any of these are any better, and they aren't really, it looks like. So that. Spacesuits. Depending on what you like. That brings our weight down a little bit. Let's uh, go back out to Crete. Okay, so right now I'm gonna scan what we can of Crete. Try to get some of this stuff uncovered. Cause I like doing that and we're already here and it's just a moon so it shouldn't be too crazy. But we do have like no upgrades to our scanner. Come on. Fifty percent scanned there. I'll just head towards those. You hate herpes, yeah. I've never had it myself, but I can imagine that, uh, it's no good. Where are the space prostitutes? Oh, Bowler Hats and Beers has, uh, jumped over to YouTube. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, probably Neon. resources left before uh, we found all of them. I'm not going to build an outpost on Crete. I feel like that's a waste. Five percent on the dusk, uh, the dust route. Oh, there's definitely enough out there to get it done. You have to be so close to scan them without any of the upgrades. Okay, so we got the dust route, and we've completed the biome for the flora, actually. Oh, shit. Crete grazers. Don't know if they're hostile or not. Scanning them. Oh shit. Oh shit. Alright, 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 alright. Calm the fuck down. Oh my god. Oh, we need more ammo. Let's just, uh, bump the Kraken. Don't 
Don't get any fucking bright ideas there, bud. It's like one of the most efficient ways to level up. Christ. Alright. Oh, cool. We have, uh... Technically, it's self-defense. Yeah. Well, you know. Come on, get the fuck. All right. The space glowing sea. I like that. Okay, so there's more natural stuff off in the distance there. And there is likely... Because I'm pretty sure that there's at least one planetary trait. There's more animals out there too. The biome's only complete with the flora, which that means that we can go... And this isn't super necessary what I'm doing, I just felt like... I just felt like scanning all of uh, Crete. I married Sarah too. I, I really, uh, she's really the only companion that I spent any large amount of time with. And like all of my playthroughs. Just go that way. I don't know what the blue, uh, what you mean by shooting the blue laser. But yeah, you can get companions in the game. I'm hearing gunfire. Oh, there's humans down there. Oh shit! What's up with this Terramorph encounter we're getting right now? Jesus Christ, okay. Great. Oh, 
Let's go. He's barely doing any damage. Oh shit. I didn't realize how damaged I was getting. Maybe the people this term where I'm killed will have what weapons here? Secret outpost. Are you attacking me? Holy shit, man. Come on. Christ, give me some fucking ammo. Vasco's out there doing God's work. Fuck. Um... Take some other chems. Okay, we'll take an amp. Eat this sandwich. Eat a bunch of this shit. Ooh. Damage resistance. Take that. Take that, and that. Alright boys. Something. Hey, Sora, you have a good one. Spacer's attacking me instead of the terror, right? Hey, well, uh, Troy, we're, we are gonna get out of this one alive, that's what we're doing. here. <laughs> this 
one uh, has a boost towards damage on humans. Okay, now we're a little uh, well rested there. Looking around, make sure I didn't miss anything here. There's this crashed ship over here. I don't know if we can explore anything with it. Not up here, we can't. Somebody landing a ship. The hell's that? Structure? Okay. Let's go to this natural thing. Hopefully, it's an actual natural formation that may have a uh, trait that we can discover. Congrats on stabbing a bug. Thank you, Luca. Quite the the moon here. We're still missing a couple of resources. Oh, there's one right there, Argon. Oh, and a Crete Stalker. Pop on out, let's go. I'm just trying to scan them. Please avoid getting shot. You might die. Oh, he's fighting me well. Is it like No Man's Sky with guns? Is what Maniac is asking. Well, I mean, you've been watching it for the past hour, because is that the vibe you get? Um, I've played a bit of No Man's Sky, but I mean, there's guns in No Man's Sky too. You know? There is there is combat going on in No Man's Sky. Reef cropping. The scanning I love. 
It's one of my favorite things to do in No Man's Sky, and so to be able to do it here is very nice. I like. Uh, kill this asshole. Another one, that might actually be the 100% on these guys. Nice. Uh, yeah, I grew up on uh, Super Mario World myself. And it was cool to grow up on a game like that. All those classic games for like Super Nintendo and regular Nintendo, they're fucking. Mm -hmm. Spoiled we were. Okay, uh. So we got deep ocean deposits as the trait here on Crete. Not bad. We need to find one more resource. As the sun goes down here. Oh yeah, man, I loved playing Sonics. Uh, Glenn. Uh, I, one through three all the time, Sonic and Knuckles all the time when I was growing up. Uh, the newer ones I haven't really played at all, but uh... Definitely played those classic ones back in the day. All the goddamn time. Though Mario was a very clear favorite of mine. I will say that. resource or those little trailer bike guys which I'm pretty sure are the last thing I need to complete the fauna on Crete here Hearing things scratching around. So let's take the time to kind of look here. Because if we find those trilobites, that'll be good. And there's only, like I said, one resource. We need to scan. Damn, okay then. Oh, water. So the resources are complete. Those. 
this little trilobite guys to be really nice to find right now. Frozen volcanic. All right, what do we got? What do we got, boys? Some structure. Frost Reed. Need that. Keep an eye out for those trilobites. Everyone. I, I, I'm hearing all this shit moving. There's one right there. Oh my god. We need to scan two more. One more, boys. And it'll be all the animals on Crete. Planetary resource list, huh? That's pretty handy there, Josh. So if you're just joining us, wondering what the hell's going on, we're running around Crete, and, uh, Scanning ship. We haven't even been down to the lodge yet. Haven't been to New Atlantis yet. <laughs> We're just scanning Crete. Figured might as well just get it done. And we only need one more uh, trilobite to complete all the animals. And what? Two more of these frost reeds. One more frost reed. Biome complete with the flora. I hope we come across trilobites. I just want to get it done. I keep feeling. I keep feel like. I feel like I'm hearing them. Walk around. Every once in a while I like to get up a little higher here. Just gonna take a gander around. I swear I hear something scratching around. <laughs> towards this natural thing and hope that maybe some trilobites have uh, congregated around it 
Do I invest in scanner perks? I'm going to. I like to. Because I like to scan shit and explore. Yeah, uh, dung piles have uh, some pretty decent stuff in them sometimes. Maniac. Take a visual survey here. Looking for trilobites. Looking for movements. You're level 52 and you haven't upgraded any of your scan. Well, I mean, if you're not into uh, walking around scanning stuff, I can understand why you wouldn't do it. Why you wouldn't be upgrading it. We got another deep ocean deposit. Hey. Well, what can wellness do for us? Fine. We got water out here. Come on, trailer bites. Get yourself a little pool for drinking. That sounds like the Fallout 3 theme. Well, this is an Azura who is doing the compositions he worked on. Fallout 3, Fallout 4, this, Starfield. Why restart again and not just continue with it? I, every game that I've had, that, that I, I was like in the middle of, so I figured start a new game because people on my YouTube channel like watching VODs a lot. And that way they could follow the full run. And yeah, Josh is right. A fresh start is always nice. Alright, so there's all of the animals. We only have one uh, flora left, too. I bet you it's in the fucking desert out there. Let's see. Just volcanic. 100% it says. Mountains, 75%. Maybe we'll go to the mountains then. Just looking. Try that. Yeah, my ADHD does the same thing where it's like, if I haven't played a game for a while, I like just starting over immediately <laughs> instead of fucking dealing with uh, jumping back into where I was. Oh, there they are, nebula vines. I like the way that looks. find more of those and then Greet will be finished. Oh, they're giving us a bunch of them too. Thank God. Thank Todd. right there. Just a few more now, boys. Then they'll just quit spawning in. I have no beef with you, Crete Stalker. Might be one. 
off in the distance there. Oh. Ever leave a game alone for a long time to try to forget a little about it? No, I don't uh, ever do it to try to forget anything about it. But uh, it definitely does happen. I really like the way that structure looks on top of this hill. One more of these after this. Hopefully it'll be on the way to this structure because I want to check out the structure. HPZ is the goat. You are correct about that, Josh. I haven't uh, played Subnautica. Uh, it's one of those games on my backlog. I own it, never played it. Need to. I like stuff like that. There's our last nebula vine. Being guarded by this Crete stalker. Oh my god. Alright, boys. Okay, I'm checking out the structure before we go. Dude, the fucking Dead Space. Uh, I, uh, that's another game that I own, uh, but I'm terrible at. I'll be able to like walk up this path. I uh, enjoyed playing the Callisto Protocol though. Skyrim's on my list as well. Bowler Hats. I uh, haven't played that in a very long time. And I'd love to stream a run of it. Autonom uh Jesus Christ, Autonomous. Dog Star Factory. What the fuck? All right, one second. Okay. So I don't have to climb up the fucking thing because it just gave me the location. So what do we got here? Oh my god, a robot. You need I am engaging the enemy. Oh shit. Sure, but engaging a hostile target. Damage all system. Okay, um, let's. Dicks. Oh, 
Xeno grub. Get the fuck out of here. No repairs, you mean? Are you referring to like the weapons and stuff? Uh, no. You don't have to repair them. You could have been talking to somebody else. Shit. They do such ridiculous damage. Eight shots left. Make them count. for everything. What do we got? We'll do wellness again if we really wanted to. Let's do this. Keep going. Okay, I feel like it's not conducive for me to be here anymore. Because I'm just going to get smoked by all those robots. I have no ammo. Small robot factory. It looks like the dude went crazy. We have surveyed this. We got our mantis quest. Saying your age on the internet is bad? I don't know, it's fine. Uh, I'm 36. And I feel old as fuck. True story. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. Alright. Going to scan that planet first. Boys, Bethesda's biggest city, New Atlantis. Yeah, it's okay to be old, though, JP. Now oh, Josh is a young, a youngin' at 20, oh my god. Those were the days. Oh, 
All right. Just putting away shit that we don't need necessarily. I do like that one, but it can go in there. your new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship, and you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. The Trade Authority runs a vending kiosk next to my booth. It's just off to the side, near the ramp. Besides that, Jemison Mercantile is your closest shop if you're looking for a bit of everything. That's further in, past the security checkpoints. Yeah, okay. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Hey, Nuke Man, good to see you. Okay, so we can sell things now from the frontier, especially. Like all of those grindles. And for these maelstroms. All of the maelstroms, it turns out. Alright, so we sold those. something for oh, 30 right there now for two or something I don't you know super care about like fucking history of pirates can be sold all right we're doing good I can assure you this unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. For you, Bobby, that includes meeting your new foster parents. My parents aren't dead. They just took a different shuttle. I'll see them when they get here. Oh, uh, well, of, of course, uh, that's sure possible. <laughs> uh, we'll, ju uh, we'll just... <clears throat> Helena Chambers, ID SSCOM 1327HCA. I was the station administrator. I'll need to report to MAST ASAP for a full debrief. My treatment thus far has been entirely unacceptable. Any authority you had was forfeit the moment House Varun Zealots breached the station's perimeter and you failed to initiate proper evacuation protocols. Thank you for your service. We'll find you a new position commensurate with your experience. And Mr. Bosch, let me just say how honored I am to meet you. By all accounts, you're the only reason anyone made it out of their alive. Well, just glad I still remembered my flight basics. It had been a while. So was shooting. Oh, Dr. Modest over here. I read all about New Atlantis. So cool. Oh, could have sold that history of the Yeah, well. We'll find an another one, boy. Like, yeah. Get special discounts? It's okay. Whether the whole city celebrates when it's your birthday? Mine's June eleventh, by the way. My parents took me to Aquila City last night. I kind of smell, but I don't smell anything here. Um, no, yes, no, and I will certainly mark June 11th on my calendar. As for Aquila City, well, the air purifiers here in New Atlantis are state of the art. Ugh, Aquila City? Oh, don't even get me started on those simpletons. A little unfair, don't you think? Damn, she just called all of Aquila, uh, Aquila fucking simps. Rough. Fucking tough crowd. They assisted. No questions asked. Even help with some repairs so I could do an emergency jump home. Good people. In any event, you all must be exhausted. Just give me a moment to coordinate some details with security. Not now. Yeah. The well's been having brownouts all the time. 
Mast finally sent someone down there, but nothing's well, changed. I help you? I've never been in a battle before. Everyone kept telling me to keep my eyes closed. But yes, I Christ has right. risen once again. At first, I thought it was a clip of mercenary <laughs> shooting this, but it wasn't. It's pretty intense thing to say to a child. Don't Christ has risen. And stuff. Uh, fuck. Is that really an appropriate thing to say to a child? Anyway, I'm fine now. I hope my parents don't take too long getting here. What? No, just ugh, go away. <sighs> Guess you caught some of that, huh? <sighs> the galaxy is at peace and somehow seems more dangerous than ever. Spacers, House Varun, Crimson Fleet, everyone trying to grab their peace. What happened to the early days, huh? When we just float through the stars and dream. Well, now, <laughs> you don't know how glad I am to hear you say that. I'm right here with you, my friend. How can you not look up to the cosmos and just be overwhelmed by its beauty? So much possibility, so much hope, even despite recent events. Ricardo Bosch. I was the lead researcher on the station that got attacked. It was business as usual until those House Varun crazies swarmed in, spouting their scripture or whatever it was. My favorite weapon in Starfield? I like the, um... Honestly, I'm just lucky to have made it out of there in one piece. We all are. It was now, right, right on the I fucking... There's, a, there's a couple of them that I enjoy. Where is that woman? The one that I'm thinking of was Melee. I feel like... Fuck. Dude, I don't even remember the names of the weapons, actually. Because uh, I'm not a big fucking, like, gun or, you know, otherwise guy. Uh, there's, like, this shot... There's, like, this kind of shotgun that I enjoy. And, uh... Don't you get a gun during the Mantis mission, or do you only get the armor? Because I remember... Um, anyway, uh, I also like the old world... Guns, I, I think it's cool that you can find those. You Varun's razor. Something? Oh, dude, yeah. Are you wait? Are you talking about that one that's behind the, the like the scorpion tail? That shit's fucking top tier. Right, it's like in game shit. Really? <laughs> you must have been hiding under a moon rock your whole life if you've managed to dodge those assholes. The Grindel's all right, though. Maelstrom's all right. Basically a bunch I like of some of those auto scumbags. rifles. They're, they're pretty Fly good. Fly around, attack, and rob anyone they see. Yeah, they're Bowler, have a good rest of your night. Thank you for stopping by the stream and chatting aren't. with us. They're a different beast than the Crimson Fleet. Generally speaking, pirates want your stuff, so they can occasionally be reasoned with. Spacers, though, they tend to shoot first. Dude, there's this one, like, never. it reminds me of the Sprittlewood from fucking New Vegas and it just melts motherfuckers. Uh, I found it on a rooftop in Neon so I wonder if it's always there after that quest but it's so fucking good, Jesus Christ. And the, the Magpul sh shotgun might be it uh, there. Josh, I'm not sure. It was not a pistol shotgun, no. The Mauler or whatever that is. Not what? Who? How to describe House Varun? Well, imagine a, a bunch of colonists who set off into the stars ages ago, disappeared, and then re Yeah, we will find out. I'll definitely point out the guns that I enjoy society. and the other weapons I like as well uh, as we go. Cult. Like I said, it's been a really long time since I've played this. They believe in a while, some sort of so. celestial deity called the Great Serpent. Uh, yeah. Real nightmare fuel kind of stuff. About a hundred years back, they picked a fight with pretty much everyone in the settled systems. I guess your school never covered the Serpent's Crusade, huh? We eventually made peace, sort of. Then they just disappeared. They're out there somewhere, or so folks assume. The ones that attacked us, they were the hardliners for sure. You meet those guys, you run. You understand me? Yep, that I have. Had to dump a load of cargo just last year. Microscopes. Can you believe that? 
Guess you can sell anything these days. Pirates are a tricky lot. In space, they're all about the hit and run. They jump in, steal your stuff, and get out of there fast. Keep your cool, and you can generally talk your way out of it, so long as you're not too attached to your valuables. Stumble upon them planet side, though, and their trigger fingers get much itchier. Here's a question I have. Please continue. It says that there's five new members, but I'm not seeing anything about any members being added. Um, did somebody like gift members and I missed it? Either way, thank you to uh, the five new members that it's saying that we have. But yeah, I don't at all remember seeing time, any. Man. They did? Who gifted a membership? It's not showing me on my log. It was HPZ? Is he still here? It didn't tell me at all that that happened. Here, one sec. Yep, it says it right there. HPZ gifted five TKS Mantis memberships. When was that? Yeah, it's not showing that on my on my other log, like my uh, Streamlabs uh, log at all, and it usually does. Shit. A PZ left, too? Fuck. Oh, no, he's right there. The, it didn't say anything after. That is super weird. Well, I'll try to, uh... Make sure I catch Hang that kind of thing. A cup of coffee right about now. If it happens again, I do apologize. Does that woman have any idea? I didn't I get uh any like I didn't see any notification of that. There there was one um You'll be scanned as you enter the city. Please like in the actual YouTube chat, but even my restream chat didn't tell me about it. Okay. No bounty. But HPZ, thank you very much. For some reason, I thought this was the entrance to the fucking bar. But yeah, HPC, I'm sorry. That's uh, that's incredibly rude for you to not have been acknowledged for doing that. I appreciate you big time. Uh, thank you for the gifted memberships. Um, I almost want to gift some memberships just to see if it'll show up in the log. Here, I'm going to gift some memberships guys just real quick uh to thank you guys for being here and to uh oh now it's not uh gonna let me when before it would <clears throat> damn it one second. I'm going to try to uh, give some memberships for some... There we go. Membership gifting. Um, how many of you are in the chat? I'll give five, like HPZ did. Um, yes. Wait. Yes. Okay, so it's not showing me on my restream chat, but it did show me over here. Huh. So, uh, we got Hentai Spiders, Slightly Maniac, uh, Slightly a Maniac, Paul Dennis, 
uh, Keely Hardy and a person gifted uh, to the membership. So uh, thank you guys for being viewers. Uh, it's my little gift to you. Uh, does it, dude, it doesn't even say on my restream chat that like somebody has gifted anything. So I'm going to need to hope that it'll show it on. It's not showing it on the fucking uh, stream labs either. That's so weird. Hmm. So, uh, we're probably going to have to maybe monitor the YouTube chat a little better. Just so that we know that we can catch that. Um, let me see here, boys. Shit. Yeah, there, that was the YouTube chat. All right, let's uh, pop out that chat. It sucks that uh, the restream chat won't acknowledge that. But we can have like this up here and just be that. Sorry, I'm getting my things uh, organized here. And then we'll continue the stream. So I'm going to do it like that and then have this. Okay, so now we can kind of see, well, I can see uh, what the hell's going on here. All right, sorry about this, guys. We're just on a fucking pause screen. Let's talk to the hunter. <laughs> Not used to people coming up to me. The suit usually scares them off. <laughs> Although I guess that's my fault, isn't it? Uh, yeah, well, I, I go all over. A little psychological warfare up front tends to make things easier. The reason I did that is because my uh, preview wasn't as live as I would have liked it to be. All right. Retired, actually. From too many lives to count. Any dogs in the game? But I've been all those things, yeah. No, I don't think so. And a few more. It's a good point you've made. I spend a lot of time in the fringes these days. God help you if you come across something someone wants. You'd think it was things like civilizations and factions that cause people to want to shoot each other. No, even without that, it's still winner take all. Of course. That's what makes the reality so tragic. Wait a second. I think I'm in danger of having a real conversation with someone for a change. <laughs> Better stop here. I'm sure we'll see each other again. I've actually uh, done two fact videos on <laughs> Starfield Chris Rock, but nobody watches them. So you wondering if... I will do some actually tracks because, like, nobody has watched it. Hope life is treating you well. Well, Let nobody's just it has me. under 10k hey views. Always nice to see a new face. And it's been out for First like three months. New Atlantis? There's like two of them. Uh, and yeah, but I don't. Uh, I, I wouldn't mind making them. It just did, it didn't seem like anybody had any interest in them on my channel. <laughs> oh boy, I didn't mean for you to take it personally. It's just something to say to customers. Break the ice, know what I mean? Listen, you just relax. Make yourself comfortable. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. That work for you, new guy? Let me know if there's anything I can get you. Yep, spaceport traffic keeps me pretty busy. But just between you and me, I've got something in the works that'll change everything. A new drink that'll make this place famous, galaxy-wide. You would love it, I guarantee. 
Only, I can't make you one right now. Don't have the ingredients. I made a deal with the holler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient I think will make all the difference. But it never showed up. Turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. The kind of folks who ship less than legal cargo. Security got wind, and the whole lot was impounded. Now they're just sitting on it, taking their sweet time like they always do. It's killing me. Ah, yes. What with all these extra credits cluttering up the place, why didn't I think of that? Sorry, Snark isn't helpful. This stuff was pricey to get a hold of the first time. I submitted all the paperwork, believe me. It won't amount to anything, but I did it. And really? I'm not even certain this is what I need to finish the recipe. I just... I think it is. I need to get my hands on that cargo. Okay. I really do. It's gonna keep me awake nights if I don't try. Before we say anything else, I am in no way asking you to do anything that might violate any of the many, many laws in place here in New Atlantis or the larger United Colonies. This is just one friend talking to another friend, asking if maybe that friend could possibly find a way to get her important cargo out of the impound. And if... Hypothetically, that were done in a less than 100% legal way? Well, that might not be the worst thing in the world. You, uh, with me on this? I suppose so. God, you have no idea what a relief this is. I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. I'm not worried. I'm annoyed. Wait, are you saying I should be worried? No, of course not. It'll be fine. Totally fine. I, I trust you. I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. I know a few things, but not much. The cargo is being held down we'll head to the at the launch spaceport, after this. not in the security office. Still, they use the same access cards. If you had one, it'd work. How or why you would have a UC security access card is none of my business, of course. I'm sure I'm better off not knowing. Beyond that, the ship decks over there might also be able to get in. Yeah, so I, I, I hope that they them of you. put a lot no of work offense. into some updates, because I like the game a lot, but it could truly be something amazing if they uh, put some more elbow grease into it. Like I said, I submitted the usual security release forms, but because my cargo is tied up with a bunch of, again, totally unrelated illegal stuff, I don't expect the forms to matter. At all. I went and talked to an officer at the office too. You, me. Sergeant, maybe? He was polite, but unhelpful. I declined to suggest that as our new slogan. New Atlanta security. Polite, but unhelpful. Truth in advertising, eh? Yeah. Stop by any time you'd like to catch up. Alright. That's enough of that shit. New Atlantis. Foggy New Atlantis. This is New Atlantis Transit, or the NAT. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. Hey, the strip at night, yes. Uh... Like uh, slightly a maniac mentioned, there's strip at night. Make sure to check out my uh, albums on Spotify. The water is music. quite aesthetically pleasing. iTunes, so Apple Music, Barry whatever you listen to New music on. Relies on I have uh, Wastewave and Vermilion Sunrise, which have uh, like vaporwave style music on them, and then uh, 
I have Mantis Sings Fallout, where I did a, bun a bunch of covers of songs from Fallout games. So check that out if you're into that. And uh, Blacklisted, good to see you over there on Twitch. It's 4 a.m. for you? Yeah, it's uh, 1 a.m. for me. We may be in a United Colonies city, but Constellation is an entirely neutral entity and always has been. Here we are, the lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Oh, well, Captain I'm happy David to have you here, Blacklist. Thank you for uh, coming by. This if Barrett were here, he'd Meet probably you. tell you that... We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Mm. I see. Bosco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. There. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. Expect us to believe in just fear. permanently reduced our fall damage by five percent. Thank you. Why very couldn't much. it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have. The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy, that girl. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Oh my god. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Katri? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting. Now, would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> So, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building. Well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce Hell yourself yeah. to everyone. 
Some I love Frank Sinatra too, Maniac. And Solus, yeah, the, ra- the New Vegas radios are ready. top tier. They did a great you job on the soundtrack. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your hey, head. Hey, Paul, no problem. Thank you for being, uh, you know, listening to the stream, hanging out in the chat. I'm glad that you uh, got the membership. Okay, so wait. Let's see what we got here. Damn, son. Um, we can unlock our stealth meter. Nice. As much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind a few answers now and then. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. Pleased to and meet you. thank you for bringing the artifact to us. This artifact hunt is keeping us busy. Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Right. So you've seen the library, obviously. Walter is quite proud of the collection, but Matteo has made more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there. If you need a moment of quiet contemplation, emphasis on the quiet part, at least usually. Let's head upstairs. Sebastian Banks, Constellation's founder, had this place built decades ago. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. I hope you are yeah, satisfied with the quarters available to you. It is a nice place. And the armillary is, uh... Armillary. Looking great. Board. So this is the bar. Usually no tender, so help yourself within Elder music, Scroll. Now let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. With their books by color ass over here. Okay, this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet, and Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy! Yeah, okay. Landmark on Luna. What's the moon? Fuck. Alright. Also, we have unlimited storage in our quarters, which is nice. My time to our business here. I am at your service, Captain. So, 
Are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? We're explorers. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. We just take that a little more seriously than others. We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. I don't know what you've heard, but I can imagine. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm? I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. And their answer. Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. It's what we do. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Felt the same way when I started, too. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's yes. not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Fine. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Yes. Hold up. We need to talk to John Tuala in Mast. Sure, go ahead. My parents considered themselves to be enlightened. But their lives were so busy, they rarely pursued their beliefs. Starfield needs a radio ace. By the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that. Yeah, I it's don't strange that uh, Starfield didn't have some. It's that form my of radio, scientific like, mind fallout. is often at odds with my really spiritual center. Having for been reasons. out there in the Starfield, seeing all those magnificent wonders I do like the with my own ambient eyes, music, though. I need answers. Not religious theory. I'm sorry if that disappoints you. But don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. You mean, apart from being the chair of Constellation for the past five years? Well, let's see. I pride myself with my aptitude for astrodynamics, calculating optimal trajectories for grab jumping. That's been quite useful in the past. And as far as oh, planetary <laughs> exploration, my area of expertise is botany. So, don't worry. I won't let you eat anything that <laughs> might put penguin. you in the hospital. <laughs> Astute observation. Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said, I will make a confession. But you have to promise to keep it between us. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. We called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> a ridiculous name, I know. But uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. 
I actually played the drums. Oh my the band God. never really went Why anywhere, does she course, assume that we assume good times, that she was the lead singer of the band? Like, <laughs> before you ask, no, I oh, wasn't the fucking okay, lead singer. I actually played the drums. You can thank Barrett for that, if he's still around to thank when this is all said and done. Honestly, he took this seriously before any of us. It was at his urging that we started doing deep space scans. I will admit, it was something of a shock to see Barrett taking anything seriously. Okay. Okay. We have to check in with the UC Vanguard. Oh, the basement to get some ammo? Yeah, well, uh, we'll be back to the lodge, I'm sure. I'll try to remember to go down there. Sergeant Yumi's looking for reliable people to help the guard. Contact Make uh, Vasco guard the ship? Okay. It. I actually never thought about that. Uh, once we're done up here, uh, I'll, I will go do those things. Swear to protect and defend the citizens of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities, and to uphold the values of the Vanguard, honor, loyalty, self-reliance in all your actions as members Is it of like the guarding United a caravan? Colonies Navy. Uh, maybe. I, I do. do. But a then I'm proud He'll at least be a part of the crew. The Vanguard. Now, that probably helps the ship. your assignments. Get out there and show them what the UC is made of. Supra et ultra. Ad Victorian. Uh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. Well, I do want the quest it's to It's a game enlist. we play. He asks, I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that Son description of Sarah gave me. Oldest trick in the book. Oh, he goes way back. I think he was recruit number 81 or something. You kidding? Lowest posting request rate in the whole fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars. And no one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. <laughs> he doesn't like mustache only beards. <laughs> oh, fuck, PZ. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Hey, vanguards risk their lives every day to keep people safe. So what if he doesn't understand whatever this fancy thing of yours is? All right, take it easy. There, John. Yeah, we I agree. We all have our sore points. The fuck? Everyone agrees we need to talk to your vanguard about what he found. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. All right, I'll let it slide. No good for the recruiting office to be seen arguing with the civs anyway. Yeah. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Okay. You'll have to ask him. But Vanguard volunteers have retrieval rights if they get into a scrap. Wouldn't be surprised if he found it off of a pirate or something like that. Yeah, bring a coloring book. You get so used to seeing red, you'll forget what blues and greens look like. Anything for Sarah. UC always takes care of its own. Even the prodigal children. Oh, brother. 
I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when yeah, you're let's ready. Yeah, do that. Oh, okay. see is a good friend to have. Hey, Sarah's friend. I just want the... Well, all right. Oh, okay. Take the elevator down to the Vanguard, and if you've got any... It did give me the quest, but... We can do it later. Um... Okay. We'll do this shit. Yeah, I don't know if they have Space Age Razors. <laughs> Oh yeah, we were gonna. To spend a fortune to maintain the lodge, but I'd say it's worth every credit. Oh my dumbass. Oh, it doesn't look like I can assign homeboy to the fucking crew. I am at your service, Captain. Captain, now oh, that you go. are a member of Constellation, I am at your service. No additional protocols necessary. Also, given the likelihood that you will be out in Richard Lord, space, that's right, man. It might be beneficial to go over exploration outpost development in case you ever need to build a base for field research. Captain Dick, I will proceed to my assigned post. Nice. So yeah, he's on the frontier now. Perfect. Does nothing? Oh, okay. oh fuck. Oh yeah, shit, we gotta go to the basement. It's like the whole reason we came back here. I wonder if any discovery reports have come in while we were away. G pig spacesuit workbench weapon workbench pharmaceutical lab let's see oh we like can make some shit we'll make 22 bandages nice Free guns on the wall. I'll have to check that out. Oh, and a constellation mission board. Um, okay. looking for the research station, but, uh, it's right here. Let's see if we got anything. Looks like we do. Nice.
Okay. on that one. Okay, got that one. Got that one. See, I like this kind of shit. Oh, I see. Okay. Alright. I think that's all we can do for now on the research station. The Apple II is still the shit. difficult. I didn't see any guns on any of the walls. Oh, I see. They're just grindles? We have plenty of grindles. the grindles it gives you ammo does it captain dick hello okay we're gonna head back to the ship now well actually we're gonna Go to the old neighborhood here, the soul system. This is a new character for You're ready to this launch. playthrough. You are entering United Colony space. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. Welcome to Mars. Hey, thanks. Um, okay, hold up. the London landmark real quick. Yeah, the robot calls me Captain Dick. Because the name's Dick Lord. Captain Dick, 
It is pleasant to see you. We have made it to the Shard here in London. Uh, I will also scan Earth. There's only five resources. So. We'll scan Earth. Is that uh, I'm trying to read the name the the names are colorized in my chat on like a weird background is that to a tobe nasty on the twitch there happy to have you here welcome to the stream There's a cave out there. We got the London landmark, the, the Archie Blows. The Shared. Yep, the London landmark, maniac. And here's the London snow globe. So, uh... Let me inspect that, please. And a little London snow globe. But I'm hoping to... Scan the rest of. Got anything on your scanner? Like the three resources that we have left. While we're down here. Oh, and then the, I guess we would need the planetary trait too. But Sandy in it, yeah. It sure is. building up our uh, scanner upgrades too. It's like Dune? Yeah, a bit. After water, we'll only have one more to go. And we'll be good. Well, again, planetary traits as well. I think the one we're missing is Mercury. Mike's chaotic gardening. Good to see ya. Oh, we have discovered the cave.
Boom. That's a dope cave. They usually aren't this cool. gonna find a planetary trade. I feel like maybe landing on a different part of Earth would be beneficial for this. So I feel like because we're on the London Square we might not get a uh, planetary trade encounter like that. Well maybe though. I'll walk for a little bit before I fuck off and land somewhere else. Christ. So is Earth a little a literal sandbox? Yeah, there's a few scattered remains, like there's the shard. Famous for being in London. There's other things like that that you can find through books and you can learn the locations of and check them out but uh everywhere else on earth looks like what you're seeing right here that's because the atmosphere like dissipated um due to some shit that went down and uh the main quest kind of explains that as you get closer to the end game it explains like what happened to Earth's atmosphere. I will say right off the bat, it has nothing to do with climate change. There's no like political message involved with that, or you, you know what I mean. Like that, the, they, that's not something they bring up or try to blame it on. Because a, a lot of people immediately think that's what's going on uh, before they play it, and that is not the case. Okay, so I think we're going to land somewhere else. Um, look, here's the states. I'm going to land. I live in Washington state, so I'm going to land in like Washington. It's like right there. Sandy desert. So we're looking for natural, natural. So one of these is probably going to be what we're looking for. Where's all the watch thieves at? I don't know what you mean. Yeah, uh, Mo uh, Mowgli, the... I think you only unlock the Cape Canaveral, NASA area like, at, like it, it, through the main quest. I don't think you, you get it before you're supposed to. Yeah, but right now we're in the Washington State region of the United States. And as you can see, it's really held up. I'm hoping to... Oh, the Watch Thieves. Because it was London, I see what you were saying. PC. Rough. Uh, <laughs> we, uh... I feel like... Cause I'm, I'm looking for a planetary trait to fully scan Earth here. And I feel like one of these natural areas is going to be it.
We're almost there. I might build an outpost out here since I have a connection to this area IRL. So I could be, uh... I forget what auto walk is. Oh, you know what? I think it's a uh, numlock, isn't it? Yes. Auto walk is great. Oh no, PC. It's nice. Okay. Anyway, so this one is apparently closer. So we're gonna hit this first. See if this is what we're looking for. It is a weird auto run button. It is. Uh, you can change it, I'm sure. But, uh, I just haven't messed with the bindings at all. Yeah, in Fallout 4, it's X, and I like that. This is what happened when they refused to bring back the McRib at McDonald's. Yes, that is, you shouldn't post spoilers like that. Like, story spoilers in the chat. It's kind of fucked up. But, yeah, <laughs> that is what happened. Unexplored geophysical feature. Yeah, this is probably going to turn into a planetary trait, which is good. Unknown feature. Iron meteorite fragment. So we gotta find the rest of the scannable bits for this. Okay, one more. And then Earth will be fully scanned. Boom. Storm Crater. 100% surveyed Earth. Get the fuck out of here. to my ship where it'd be oops I'm looking for now oh, we don't need to build an outpost yet it's fine I was going to, but... So, 100% surveyed. We'll probably do that with Luna, too, which is the moon. Um, we can get the hidden snow globe on Mars as well. Uh, no, I don't have any mods. Good to go for landing. Hey, Chinchi. Welcome to the stream. Happy to have you. Have I missed anything? What am I kidding? Oh my god. I see what you did there. Uh, but you're not entirely wrong either. Ah, fuck. I needed to. Captain Dick, do you require my assistance? Is someone aiming game? Hell yeah. Solus. Um, I want it to be daylight out there. It's about time. Come on, sleepyhead. 
Is there much of a modding scene? I'm not sure. I haven't uh, checked it out. So, if you look at your map here when you're at Sedon uh, Sedonia. There it is. So, we can just make out the face on Mars right here. Uh, one eye, one eye, nose and mouth, circle for the head, right here, outline of the head, chin, mouth, nose, eye, eye. If we go to the, like, tear duct of the right eye, there's, um, what I assume is a fucking, supposed to be cut, um, just to be safe, uh, going to go into Sedonia to oh, what read the plaque the about the marsh Frankly, the face on Mars because I don't know if that triggers it or not but I'm gonna drab city. I'm, I'm gonna look at that first and then we'll go get what I assume was supposed to be a cut snow globe um, the Knights of Sedonia of that, all, there you go what do I think of Interstellar? I'm uh, not sure what that is, actually. Building Sidonia completely underground was a clever way of keeping the city shielded from the harsh Martian I feel like I've heard of a game called Interstellar, but I've never played that. If, if you're talking about something else, I have no idea. I'll be at the bar. Find me when it's done. We're on it. What did I think of the Mantis quest? I liked it. Um, I liked like the intergalactic space superhero vigilante situation. That it was cool. It was a cool little quest. And I actually liked the Ever been to the armor Security that we get from it and the ship that we get from it. Um, I like all of that shit. So I think it's great. We were told there were jobs. Condos, farm, look, special, look, look, I get it. People call them we all. just filled our last openings. I think we have a couple contracts ending at the end of next month. It's possible they may not extend them. This is bullshit. I got a wife and kids at home. We can't wait almost two months for a job that may not even exist then. Hey, hey, I get it. But there's nothing I can do. It's out of my hands. You can take it up with corporate. Sorry, but I have to get back to work. You Come know, on, I believe we've got altitude. the best mining team Maybe it's ever not too late to catch a ride back home. Damn. Yeah, you're right. Screw this. Welcome, welcome. Nice to meet you. Name's Trevor. Mining director for the Deimos Mining Project here in scenic underground Sedonia. I could spare a minute or two to chat. So long as you're not looking for mine. Well, Mike, work, you just uh, run over to the face and the snow globes there. Yeah, I didn't know if like they had it set up, because what I'm what I'm guessing was supposed to be the case was that you were supposed to come in here, read the plaque, and then it was like, hey, go see the face on Mars landmark. And for some reason, that either doesn't trigger or was cut for some reason. He sounds like Kano. Yeah, I can hear it. Good, uh, good reference on that too. I uh, fucking love Mortal Kombat. Eh, not so bad for one of the oldest mines in the settled systems. We struggle with the lack of decent equipment, but we work hard and make up for it. As I'm sure you know, we're responsible for supplying resources to Deimos Star Yards, which in turn is responsible for supplying UC naval vessels. That among other major projects, makes us one of the United Colony's most important mining operations. The prestige and pay that comes with it almost makes up for being stationed at the arse end of the settled systems in the middle of nowhere. Yep, that's me. Joined up with Deimos when I was just 17 as a mining gopher. Go for this, go for that, you know how it is. I worked hard, proved myself capable, and got the promotion to mining director about six years ago after the old boss retired. Some of the older guys resent me, but I give everyone a lot of leeway as long as they meet their quotas. So that keeps them happy enough. Oh, that! Oh, nothing to worry about. 
We do fracking on Mars with subterranean particle detonations. Those announcements are just to let people know when to expect them. Now, you probably felt the rumble when the detonations actually go off. That's all it is. Not too bad, eh? Yeah, no worries, mate. I can totally see how it'd be odd if you're not used to it. Just sit down, or be sure you're within reach of something to hold on to if the quaking makes you uneasy, and you'll be fine. Argos, huh? Yeah, I've heard of them. That's great, but yeah. Unfortunately, all our mining contracts are filled right now. Unless... Maybe you could help me out with a job. Off the books. Great! I promise it's nothing that'll get anyone in any kind of trouble. That's always what people say See, right before they get you in that our any kind of trouble. ain't exactly holding together like it used to. Problem is, we can't get new equipment unless we start exceeding our quotas. And we can't do that until we Good get new it. equipment. A real dilemma, right? I've got a plan for solving our little problem, though. Okay, glad you're still on board. First, I need someone from the outside to bolster our yields so we can prove that we can exceed our quota. I'll fill you in on the rest of the details after you've hauled up some more. One standard quota should do. I need to know I can trust you with the easy stuff first. When you've got enough, drop it off in the bin over there for processing. Then come see me. Okay, so we're going to... Still read the plaque. Look at this place. I can't imagine being cramped down here, choking on the fumes and the dust. No trees, no Face on Mars. And then, uh, you know, it gives us a little, uh, little history rundown of how uh, they're, they're looking at it as humanity's greatest case of pareidolia, which is, uh, you know, humans perceiving faces uh, and everything. But uh, anyway, we're gonna go grab that. Not having any trouble mining the ore, are you? Talk to me if you reckon you can hack it as a bounty. So we're off to, like I said, the face on Mars here. I have a little custom marker that's located in the right tear duct, which is where, like, I guess the face is right in the tear duct. Because if we're looking at it, oh, I guess it would be our right too, coming from it. Coming from how we're coming from. But, uh, shit. Used to be big into space. Yeah, I love uh, outer space aesthetic and settings and shit. Okay, so. Shit, I was gonna say there should be a structure right over there. And there is. This uh, structure, real quick. Want to overlook anything valuable? That and uh, start scanning shit. Oh, 
this is a UC Vanguard Raptor. Steal their ship? I don't know if I can. Um, plus, you don't want to run afoul of the UC Vanguard. I should have better not have just taken off. Oh God! You scared the shit out of me. I don't know. I just have the worst luck. If the shielding one week. Grab drive the next. When everything's working, spacers show up. <sighs> I must have been born under a ladder covered in black cats. I didn't, but you're right, I should have. Sorry, I'm just having a day. I'm on edge after the ship nearly blew up. Complete system failure after the last grab jump. I was barely able to land her in one piece. Anyway, I'll be here for a while. If you want to hang out, you can, but I won't be much company. That's it. What am I missing here? Yeah. The shielding? The generators? God damn it, I'm always forgetting something. Can I rob this ship? Okay, I'm in the storage. I can't find the storage. Uh huh. Nice. How is she caps if she's that uh, gullible? I'm not sure. Liquid freezing thunderstorm. How do you like that? still on our way. Ooh, lightning just struck like right in front of us. Keeping my eye out for resources of which we only have three left to find. But two planetary trades. Like, uh, you may have noticed if you've been here for a while, I enjoy that part of the game quite a bit. I like exploring around and scanning things. Wait, there's rain on Mars? There's cloud systems on Mars, so there may be rain on Mars. Oh, wait, you make a good point. It's like, isn't that water? Um, if it's like liquid freezing uh, rain, then I can understand like why it's still like not, you know, the same kind of water that we're fighting here. But, uh, I, I've seen cloud systems on Mars. Like, uh, through pictures of, like, from the NASA rovers and stuff like that, so I imagine that it could rain on Mars. But again, this is science fiction. Like, we're playing a science fiction video game. So, I don't expect it to be 100% accurate. But, yeah, man, I imagine that there's storms on Mars. Okay. 
We're getting there, boys. HPZ, does that mean you're gonna go uh, play Halo? <laughs> Mr. Stogie's, I enjoy Starfield quite a bit as well. Samson. somewhere. Is that it? And we got our Sidonia snow globe. And even the snow globe is like like, you can see, like, weird creases for the faces and shit, so I just feel like this was maybe gonna be cut or something, and just wasn't. We will fast travel. Back to... the ship. I'm gonna take a... small five... Three to five minute break, take a piss, have a cigarette outside and such, and then we'll uh, get back to it, boys. So hopefully you stay with me here. If you don't, that's fine too. I'll hopefully see you on the next one. But uh, yeah, we will uh, return shortly.
Thank you for chilling with me. And hanging out. We are still on Mars. I need to go into Sidonia for some shit. For those of you still with me, hello. And for those of you that are not, so long. Was that uh, music? Yeah, the music is from my Vaporwave albums. Uh, Vermilion Sunrise and Waste Wave. And you can find those on like Spotify and stuff like that. Uh, YouTube music as well. Pretty much anywhere that like you would stream music, uh, they should be available. Hey Fraggle, good to see you. And Sneed, it is good to see you as well. 33 hours without incident, look at that. Not everyone needs to come to me with their problems. I ain't a psychiatrist. Plenty. But if I went blabbing them to any rando that walks into my bar, no one would ever tell me anything around here. You don't do this job for 45 years by losing your customer's trust. See? That's what I'm talking about. You give respect, you get respect. I'm glad you understand. You ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. You got another word for it? He means out of space. Ma'am. Believe me, I've heard it. After about round three or four, it was all he would talk about. And he's got a voice that carries. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But... <clears throat> he has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money, I got problems. What do you say? Come on. We'll see Life if we can on get him here. ain't hard enough. You gonna guilt trip me? Yes. Yeah. I'll get your point. Alright. Maybe. Yeah, we did it. Alright, I give up. Just trying to earn a living here. Too bad. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the lady of love. <laughs> Singing songs. All that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll make do. Damn, Sarah, come on. Pick up jobs from here too. Um, oh, I see. Got a survey mission. Just because the governor's office is right. Okay, where are we going? Venus. Isn't. Unbelievers. I'll let you guess what happens if they spot us. No idea. 
They appear and attack people seemingly at random. House Varun technically has diplomatic ties to the other factions, but the Zealots are outside of their control. Or so they say. No, no other ship readings in the area. And I doubt they'd be so calm if a vanguard had flown by recently. No, but I think I see something else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Exactly. Minimal ship power. Go slow. We grab the data on that satellite and jump away. Okay. Damn, shit. Calm down. Okay, let's see. It might take piloting. Oh, that might be handy too. Um, let's do that. Because that is actually really handy. Alright, so yeah, now we just uh, drift to the satellite. Oh, great serpent. Bless this communion that we may walk in Janan Verun's footsteps. That he jumped from the soul system out into the beyond and touched your magnificence. That he learned the truth of the shrouding, the coming eternal embrace. That you will reward the promised and cast the accursed into shadow. Yeah, well, it'd be cool if that was more fleshed out. I'm hoping uh, the Shattered Space DLC kind of, like, gives us more to do with uh, House Varun and uh, the Serpent and all this other kind of stuff. I'd like to see, like, some more stuff out of that. Hey, Blue Donkey, it's good to see you, by the way. I don't care if you ask me about memes that I've posted. Most of them I don't make. Sometimes I make them. Um, I usually find them on New Vegas memes and there's like a rad posting or waste posting or something like that group on Facebook. It sometimes has some dankies that I like to uh, put up. You've never encountered Chumps Lewis and his daughter? What do you mean? His daughter is the Kiwi at uh, Quarry Junction with the Great Cons, the one with the New Zealand accent. That's Chumps Lewis' uh, daughter, if that's what you're referring to. Um, the dialogue that's featured in that meme doesn't exist in the game, I don't think. It's more of a representation of their relationship. Hopefully I'm answering your question correctly.
Earth and everything around it was abandoned a long time ago. And the old star yards are crawling with spacers and other scavengers. travel to Earth? I feel like we didn't need to travel to Earth. I also feel like I want my shields back on. Engine all the way up. There we go. Um, let me see here. Oh, the Nova Galactic Star Yard, I see. I see. Um. I think. Oh, there it is. Trump's talks Nova about his daughter, uh. When, when you talk to him, doesn't he say that my daughter ran away with the Great Cons or whatever? Other than that, I don't think there's any, like, hidden dialogue. But again, like, I, I could always be wrong. Oh, and Sarah will explain a bit of what happened to Earth right here. It's all ancient history now, but the Earth lost its atmosphere. It started sputtering out into space. Humanity had about 50 years to evacuate the planet. That's kind of how the United Colonies government started. Managing the exodus. Earth is more or less a dust ball now. You can occasionally find a few remnants of the world we left behind on the surface, but not much. Well, if you want to take a little detour, I admit I wouldn't say no. Just remember, we need to find Vanguard Moara and that artifact when we're done. Yeah, we will uh, definitely actually be going to the moon. Because we have... Uh, this. So we'll land at the Apollo landing site here and... Uh, get our next... Snow globe. The American flag. Somebody landing. American flag. Uh, the Apollo. Belly. And here's the one. Cute. So I really like stuff like that. We almost have our moon fully scanned. Well, whale is on the moon. Uh, we got iron. Show me something else. surveying planets. There's a ship landing site over here. Is there more ships landing? Yes. Oh, fuck. I forgot. 
uh, the, the Sea of Tranquility as well. Uh, they, they put that in, but again, it's like not marked on any kind of map as a point of interest or anything, and you wouldn't even know that it was there. And ships oftentimes land in there. Yeah, the chat's always something else, Maniac. Oh my god, give me the other resource. You jerk. Helium, where are you? Found it. Fucking headphones are starting to hurt my head. 100% surveyed, thank you very much. And then, uh, where's this ship landing site that we were fucking heading towards? So, Alright. Looks like the ship is gone now. Oh. These assholes. Prognosis is poor on my burns. Let's uh, fix that. Try have something that treats burns. Right there. Now we're not burned anymore. We got that statted uh, Grindel too. That was pretty sweet. Oh, they got the, They do got a ship over here. Might be our first uh, ship thievery about to happen. by not having a good enough security skill. Alright, so what's going on in here? Science outpost. Let's do it.
Hey there. 27 hours Still universal first, time right? for one hour moon time. That's pretty fucking wild. Hey, HPZ gifting another membership. Thank you very much. PZ. I don't know who got it, though. I can't see that information. I slept during the day there. Ender Army. Dylan V? Is that the person who uh, got the membership from PZ? Well, congratulations if that's the case. Uh, there's more areas to explore in here. Some adapted frames. Some magnets. Some reactive gauges. Whatever the fuck that is. These are good crafting components we're coming up with here. Can't unlock that. find you. Our ship's in bad shape. We managed to land, but we're in need of repairs. You wouldn't happen to have any spare ship parts, would you? We can probably jury rig a fix on our own. Yeah. Okay. I'm um, over encumbered too, eh? Since I won't be able to fast travel. To my ship. Um, let's see here. Not that. Sarah could carry some shit. Let's, uh... We still need to find any sign. Feel free to drop some stuff into my bag. That's all she has on her. All right, Sarah. Take both of those things, both of them, and you are also going to take my Grendel collection and the shit. Yeah, store all resources on Sarah. Okay, now she's... This container's at mass, maximum capacity. Time to go? Okay. So let's fast travel over to our ship here. 
Oh, you got all the achievements in uh, Fallout 4. Nice. It's always a fun excursion to go on. Have something for me? I'm a simulation. Yeah, it's true, PZ. Junk you're hauling is seriously slowing you down. No, we're good. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Let's pick up some ship parts here. Let's see if we can help them here. Did they find a way to turn down the complaining all the companions do? Um, I'm not sure. Sarah is definitely one to do that. Oh, there were ship parts literally in the storage box. Fuck off. Alright, where's the captain of this ship that I'm now mad at? check just in case and fucking Sarah has to use the airlock Where's the goddamn captain? Over here? Yes? Find anything? Haven't had any luck on our end. Damn. Wow! Thanks, stranger. I really appreciate it. I know how hard it is to survive out here. I promise you, we won't let this go to waste. Okay. No XP. No special item, like nothing, no reward for that. Cool. I should have demanded the 3,000 caps. Caps, by the way. I didn't need to do that. Um... Not the engines? 
that's always good. Is there any cool Easter eggs in Starfield? Yeah, there are some. Uh, on a clone planet, oh, Vasco's in here too. On a clone planet, there's a reference to Gary uh, and Vault 108. It's not Vanguard Moara. Looks like spacers were scavenging around here and someone else came in and said hello. Oh, this won't be your last encounter with a space crew. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. They're even less organized than the Crimson Fleet. Just countless desperate groups scavenging and killing to survive. Alright. I think we'll be okay. battle going on out there. some ammo. Okay. 
workroom. This is what happens. Why I hate digi picking so much. Packs too. Ah, oh, fuck, I didn't mean to use that. Clark. 
take it easy. Okay. He's out of here. Holy Christ. Hey, Solus, you have a good night. Already. No. You have a good night, man. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Christ. Oh my god. spacers over here may very well just be alive on the other side of the building too and I was correct Shit. Damn, son. No, 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 no. Oh, we're 
gefragt. Oh no. Shit. Looks like I actually did something. Next, how can I be of service, Captain? Yeah, Chris, you called it. Okay, um, those are all right. Twelve Grindles, just normal ones. What's this? Okay, that's good as hell. Okay, it's definitely time to sell shit. Wait, did you see that? There's a ship just drifting out there. No time for taking this. 
Yeah, let's do that. Right before this battle. Lights. That could be our vanguard. Something's wrong. The ship's weapons are powering up. Get ready. Right, sir. If you stop shooting at us, we'd be more than happy to respond. It's not me. Mark's hijacked my ship. White line a couple of members. They've locked me down. Really could use an assist. We blow that ship out of the stars. He's dead and our artifact's gone. We're going to have to board. Target the engines. Once they stall out, we'll have our chance. Fuckers. Every time. Found it, boys. Gun bash. It's right there. Meet whoever you two are. Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? Ecliptic mercs. They'll work for anyone. And vanguards don't exactly make friends with local pirates, thieves, and scavengers. I think enough of them finally got fed up, and they pull their money to hire professionals. What? You guys still exist? Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories too, about a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? Hey, sorry. I just didn't know what it was. But I guess that's what you all are for, right? Here, happy to trade a novelty for a rescue any day. Okay, so now we'll take it. Good work. Let's get back to the launch. I 
I'll be taking those too. Underway. Oh, well, look who decided to rejoin the world. Nice, clean step there. No, fuck him. He can clean up his own corpse as hentai spider. I did all the heavy lifting. Another artifact to add to the armillary here. Did you? <laughs> it fits. Energy spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here, you've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. Ooh. Oh yeah, we got our Constellations uh, spacesuit here. We're going to do great things together. All of us. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These are How do I like the contraband system? Constellation, and I'm Bowler going hats? to uh, for it. That's and all right. I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I wish I it, need someone like you. Well, no, because it it makes you you know like it always makes me you know second guess trying to grab you know the contraband and like uh, you know fly it to different areas. But um, I've heard other people complain about it. But honestly, uh, I I rarely grab contraband, and I know you need to upgrade stuff to get it you know to do it better. So. Yeah, yeah, honestly, uh, uh, it doesn't bother me. And I like, uh, I like feeling like a, you know, a badass by flying in with contraband and selling it at a high price. I do like that. All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Sam Co has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye... Our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Okay. That's right. He wasn't here when you first showed up. He should be back by now. I'll let him handle the introductions. If I steal his thunder, I'll never hear the end of it. His mind is always somewhere, but there's no arguing his knack for being in the right place. Yeah, I don't know if I understand time. it completely either, Bowler oh, Too bad he couldn't see the artifacts coming together. But knowing him, he'll be so excited when I always he gets think a look, twice about tempting him it. that he's missed anything. You okay? 
We maintain a star station in orbit above us. It's where we do all our deep space scanning. Vladimir runs the station. Brilliant astronomer. Years of practical experience. It's all important, but if you want a direction, I'd grab Barrett first. He's not just an old friend. He's been all over the settled systems. Okay. Talk to you later. We're gonna get some gosh darn med packs under our belts. Hit up Outland and uh the distribution center. You see that scientist out in front of Mast, staring at trees. Sounds I upset. I love collecting is, quests from the guards too. Right? Okay. I I uh, love New Atlantis, so I think it, they did a great job building uh, New Atlantis as a city. I don't think I'm going the right way. Say, but we'll run into the universal church situation. Maybe we should stop for a moment at the memorial. You know, to pay our respects. It's like, like Keep when kill us someone over here. insults you, you want you know, to you just know. beat the shit out of them sometimes, uh, but you don't. <laughs> well, not quite what I was thinking, but that's actually a great example, Marcus. The man in the story was cruel. Do you know why he was cruel? You must feel what he feels. Understand his pain. Accept it. And deliver it not back upon him. Empathy. You mean empathy. <laughs> but you say it like it's easy. Like anyone can... just... love a terrible person who has been terrible to them. Yeah. Why even bother? I mean, isn't the cycle of humanity peace and war back and forth, like forever? Seems kind of pointless to try so hard for something that won't last. Nothing ever really changes. Well, it's not easy, no, but necessary. Because you see, everything has changed. God has given us the intelligence, the ingenuity to yeah. reach into the stars, Assholes. to travel his path to truly find him but we can't do it alone the only way is through unity huh. well, you said the thing yes, Andreas yes unity well I'm sure you all have other things to do thank you for taking the time to stop and talk with me there are so many mysteries in the universe so many unknowns that I try to help out others whenever I get the chance. Uh, oh, hi there. I'm Marcus Lestari. Uh, are you interested in the Sanctum Universum? And remember, we were raised universal. So, yeah, that's the role there. Glad to hear it. It's an exciting time for the church. Uh, we're growing every day, and we've been getting more interested visitors lately, too. Actually, we've had a few visitors come by recently, but uh, they have yet to come visit us again. This strikes me as a good opportunity. I'm wondering, uh, would you like to go check in with those visitors and welcome them back to our church? Maybe all they need is just another invitation. <laughs> and don't worry, I'll pay for your effort, of course. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, their names were Tony... Evi and Johan. When you check in with them, give them one of these slates. It's just a little something welcoming them back if they're interested. If you want, take some time to Yippee talk to them, um, get to know them and why they were interested in the Sanctum Universum. In any case, when you're done, come back to me and I'll give you your payment. Easy. 
Have you ever heard one of his sermons? They're really good. Yeah. We can uh, fucking do that, by the way. Did you ever get a glitch where the hair sticks out of the helmets of the emissary and the hunter? Uh, no, I never uh, saw that one. Yeah, among the grab jumps here, uh, pretty sure this is that's the one that uh, Achilles wrote. And if you read it, you can tell him that you did, and it's a nice part of the conversation. So we can get our Bibles here, six med packs, and oh, we got the white Neo City poncho. Fuck yes, what a good find. Um, yes. Yeah, actually, uh, the other thing that I had, I think is better. Oh uh, well. Yes. Let's see if my aid is still... There we go, it is. And we got six of those, which is nice. Is there anything I can help with? I may not always have the perfect advice for people, but I try to just be here for them. I think that's what they really need more than anything else. Were you seeking worldly wisdom, or just a friendly ear? Ah, that's wonderful to hear. It brings me great joy to know that my scattered thoughts can help others. I assume, then, you've read Among the Grab Jumps. It's the one writing that most often introduces most people to us. Excellent, excellent. Tell me, what did you think? I'm so glad to hear that. I confess I do feel something of a swell of pride every time I learn my thoughts mean something to others. It's a good reminder that we're on to something here. You're yes, always indeed. welcome here. If you ever need comfort or advice or just want someone to talk to. Well, we're a newer organization, at least officially. Our facility here in New Atlantis has only been around a few decades. But we're gaining new members all the time. I think people have been grasping for something to express yeah, Tommy. what they're know experiencing. It. And He's I'm chill glad as fuck. we can be here for them. Keep her by title. But yes, I suppose the title fits. I'm very grateful that I have the opportunity to be here for those who need us, who find meaning in our message. Okay. The Sanctum will always be here for those who seek it. All right. So we can get on this quest. The Free Star Collective has no place in New Atlantis. Hey, calm down. What do you want? I'm very busy. What? Let me see. Oh, yeah. I went to the Sanctum Universum a while back. I haven't checked it out again, though. It's interesting. The whole literally finding God thing is comforting to me, in a way. Wait, why am I telling you this? I'm not sure. The truth is that I want to believe in it all. The Sanctum Universum believes that God gave us the ability to grab jumps so that we can search for him and find him. If that's true, maybe I can find my dad as well. I lost him when I was just a little girl. I can barely remember him. Because if it all ends up not being real, I'd be devastated. 
Well, I don't know. Would you really know if it wasn't real? I don't need a lecture from you. Listen, I don't want to talk about this anymore. I'll go back if I want to. Yeah, that's fair. This is an awkward thing to just approach people with. I keep coming back here. I really like Aquilus. Aquilus has seen so much. Aquilus. I said I was saying Aquilus. Aquilus. Right. It's a shame House Varun abandoned their embassy. Mm, I bet we could have learned a lot from one another. Yeah, I wanted to go over here anyway. Hi. So this works. Rations? Check. Rifle? Already started. Seems like the Crimson Fleet isn't Do everywhere it? these Go days. Shoot. Spreading like a virus through the settlement. Bulk items may require multiple levels of approval and can take up to several weeks for an official response. We apologize for any delay. Welcome to UC Distribution. Now, before you say a word, I am required to inform you that formal complaints cannot be filed until the customer feedback system is back online. I have been told it'll be up and running in two weeks, but you know how these things are. I am sorry for any potential inconvenience. Also, if you're here about a corporate account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedule soon. Thank God. You mean besides providing a pleasant face for customers to interact Evita. with? Vita. And why? Good to see you. We distribute materials and products all around the United Colonies. Never a dull moment. Always something going on and four other things we need to be ready for. I know some people don't believe it, but we really do the best we can. Wouldn't still be working here if I didn't care. Oh, well, certainly. Okay. Only ship parts. Fug. Um, equip this one. Oh, shit. All right, one second. Back to it then. Welcome to UC Distribution. So, yes, of course. All right. Yeah, we got an incendi uh, incendiary pistol. Somebody did ask about that a while back. <laughs> the answer is yes. of this shit that I don't really need, but... Nice. We already have 40k credits. And there's the constellation pack to go with the rest of but I have like a super legendary one. Oh, you know what? And then You're always welcome back. If you don't mind a bit of a wait. Keep on keeping on. It's a, working at the distribution center can be tiring, 
But it sure is rewarding. Really? Nice! I went there a while back. Good to see they still remember me. Did they get rid of the little zoom in thing? What do you mean? Uh, there wasn't really any reason. I just got busy or lazy and stopped going. I've actually been meaning to check it out again. It's just something interesting to do after work. The people seem nice as well. To tell you the truth, I don't really have any thoughts on the church itself. I wouldn't consider myself religious. I initially went because it just seemed interesting. I don't think I really know enough about the church to decide if it's bad or good, or if it's even a good fit for me. I guess maybe I should go back to figure that out. All right. Gotta say that it's nice, you know, having people think about you. Sure. Because of my job, I don't really have too much free time to socialize or make friends. Now, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love my job. It's the best job in New Atlantis. But still, it can be hard to put myself out there sometimes. That's actually one of the reasons I went to the Sanctum Universum. Just to talk with people and get to know them. It was nice. It really was. I understand where he's coming from with that, though. Like, having a nice, supportive, like, group of people to be around. I can understand that. Yeah, I think I will. But, hey, let me ask you something. Do you believe in all this Sanctum Universum stuff? What do you think? Yeah. Uh-huh. Like Bigfoot. Do you know what Bigfoot is? Some monster that might have lived on Earth and had big feet. You know what? I'll just stop talking. Well, hey, I'll let you get back to it. Uh, thanks for bringing this to me. Keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. That is a Death Stranding reference. Alright. The distribution center as a whole seems to be one big fucking Death Stranding reference. So we're gonna go to Outland now. Looks like you've got a few diplomatic missions down to your file. I feel... You're only as safe as your equipment out there. Welcome to Outland. We deal in only the finest, most reliable gear for whatever adventures may await you. Oh, well, I feel like it kind of like focuses on the speaker, but no, there's no their lives you know, dramatic travel. zoom in anymore now. And while I've never Tell needed me. them myself, I stand by everything we offer. Hmm, no, and no flying for me. Not, not my style. Goodness, no, I just couldn't. You're out there millions of miles away from anything, and if something goes wrong, I can't stomach the thought. I prefer solid ground under my feet at all times. And preferably a hot, fresh coffee within reach. Can't get those in space either. That's where you're wrong. Yes, by all means, have a look. Okay. He does have med packs, so we're gonna buy those. By fucking everything he has in that aspect. He doesn't have ammo. Nice. Okay, we are doing good. I'll leave the constellation pack. Oh, only seven left. Boom. Be careful out there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Buller. There's, there's like a coffee machine immediately on the frontier, like in those little cooking stations. I'm pretty sure there's, looks like there's a coffee pot there. All right. Anyway, um, they were gonna give our son to a different family. We made it back just in time. 
We're finally back with our son. That's all that matters. Hey, it's you again. Talk to the hardware. What if that malfunctions? You too. These are my parents. I told everyone they just got on a different shuttle, but nobody would listen. We're just exploring New Atlantis. We have a new apartment. This place is amazing. Anyway, it was nice to see you again. Maybe I'll see you around. And don't forget my birthday. It's June 11th. Yeah, there's Bobby no date in the game, so you. it doesn't matter. He's had... he's quite something, our Bobby, isn't he? Yeah, right, anyway. Last guy on our fucking list for the church. Over here. Hey, Will, good to see you. What the fuck? They the haven't fixed... In An Another day, another shift. Park in the middle of a busy spaceport. Although no one was injured in I don't even know where we're going or what. Oh, yeah. Okay, now I get it. Early morning stream, Cthulhu. I've been live for like five I've hours. I've flown across most of the so I started. systems in all manners. For me, it was part. late night. And yet, and we're I still get sick on the night. Getting into the early morning. She fell from the sky. She jumped from where she was. Because uh, she ran past us and then jumped back. Why the fuck are we going to the wall? Oh yeah, the guy. Damn, that's like the second time I forgot what we were doing. I sure hope your day's going as well as mine is. <sighs> it's nothing like an afternoon off. What, at Terra Brew? I wish. <laughs> nah. I live at Athena Tower. Just moved in, actually. My girlfriend and I got a place there a few weeks ago. I'm not sure how long we'll be there, though. We're saving up to get out of New Atlantis. Uh, tour the settled systems. Uh, fine, I guess. Do we know each other? Oh, all right. <laughs> I thought you were trying to flirt with me. My day's going fine. Nah, man. It's we not good. to complain about anything when you have a terror brew in your hand. Catch you later, yeah? Yeah, sure. Her name's Donna. She works at the Nat station near Mast. Oh, boy, is she a catch. She's passionate, beautiful, friendly. I really lucked out. We met a couple of years ago, and uh, we've been going steady since then. No. Nope. I'm actually thinking about asking her to marry me pretty Oh, my soon. God. Uh... Keep that between us, okay? I don't want her finding out before I pop the question. I'm gonna fucking tell her. Oh, thank you. I, I guess. He talks like a character from a Telltale game. An invitation, huh? Like the same yeah, cadence? Yeah, I checked out the church a few weeks ago, but I haven't gone back I don't know yet. how to explain it. <laughs> My girlfriend and I want to leave New Atlantis and travel the settled systems. We've been working our butts off, and my girlfriend is so excited. I'm excited too, but it's still a little scary, you know? We've been in New Atlantis all our lives. We don't even really know what to expect out there. I guess I was seeking out some sort of comfort from the church. <laughs> I don't really know. That's fair. I don't know. I don't want to disappoint anyone in case I stop going. Jesus Christ. The church was interesting, but... How can anyone know for certain that it's all real? <laughs> Doesn't that bother anyone else? I guess that's probably why I never went back. That was There's fucking no wild. Maybe. I guess it couldn't hurt to visit again and talk with the others. I wonder if any of them felt how I do now when they started going to the church. But anyways, I have to get going. Thanks for talking with me and uh, for taking the time to deliver this. Take care. I'll show you, you guys something fucked up. Okay, see that beautiful water under us? 
check this shit out, boys. This is, uh, this is part of the reason, uh, Starfield gets some of the flack that it gets. No splash. Can't go underwater. Just nothing, nothing happens. And it's just a little disappointing the way uh, the water works. That's all I'm saying. Um, Metalhead 2000, good to see ya. But little things like that should be worked on. Like, if we can't go underwater, that's fine. Okay, like, if that's not gonna be in the game, that's not gonna be in the game. Whatever. But at least, like, you know, code some splash in when you fucking hit the water from high up. And, like, if I was to shoot the water, make it look like you did it. Wow. You look completely different. <laughs> if you need serious firepower... Can you imagine how many credits flow through this place? Figuratively, of course. A lot. A lot of credits flow through this place, figuratively. And literally. <laughs> Great. Uh, how'd it go? Pretty good. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Sometimes people just need a little reminder that they're always welcome here. Here. Your payments as promised. Thank you for taking the time to do this. And I hope to see you around the church too. At least five credits. Definitely metalhead. At least five credits flow through here a day. Okay. What else we got? Let's red tape blues, gather iron. Okay, we could do that. Could do this. Okay, we can do that. This is a cool little quest too, because it actually like adds lore to New Atlantis and. You know, you you learn shit about like if you run into those about the area and this tree and what it means and shit. It's very Skyrimy. I don't know. There's stairs right there, making an ass out of myself. Chief diplomat Yassim runs a tight ship. It's amazing to think that this tree predates New Atlantis. Mm. Can you imagine I'm all sorry, the changes it's seen? I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. Yes, concerned is an understatement. I work for the scientific division of MAST. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? I've passed by this particular tree many times, and honestly, I never gave it a second thought. You Does it hold are part some of the problem, sir. Significance. Finally, somebody understands. Unless, wait, you're not mocking me, right? People. <laughs> Look, I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. I don't normally solicit help from random passers-by, but it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? Well, that's... Thank you. That's unexpected. Uh, yeah. There's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. If you would bring them to me, that would save time. Okay, fair enough. Wait, did we, uh... So just making sure that this is the right, uh... quest we have. 
here. Yeah, we'll do this one first. Seems like a nice lad. Yeah, he's fine, honestly. me to the closest one or not. You would think that's how that works, you know? Whatever one is closest, it draws you to. And this... West gives us a proper little tour of New Atlantis, and I uh, again I really like so I New I Atlantis. Uh, I think they did a fantastic job of building this city, making it feel alive and futuristic. Like uh, I just like it. Right, Sarah. Come on. Trailer. Can you go into most buildings? Yeah. Are you looking for eggs too? You bet your I've only found one so far, but I want to find more before anyone else does. So if you see some, can you tell me? Yeah, it was. Weird, right? Miss Seng over at UC Distribution bought the one I found, and she said she might buy more if I can find them. I could really use the credits. Yeah, well. Can't we all? Due to recent legislative action, I'm no longer able to allocate ships. I can, however, deal in general goods. Welcome to UC Distribution. Something I can do for you? Oh, well, certainly. Ah, oh, fuck. That's not what I meant to do. Who, Jordan? <laughs> that kid's in here every other day with some random thing he found. Trying to get credits. Yeah, I took pity on him. Why? What is it? Oh, really? Well, you can have it back for what I paid for it, plus a little extra. Let's call it a convenience fee, shall we? Pleasure doing business with you. Right, right. Come back if you need something else. You got it. When you have a few moments, there's something I'd like to discuss. 
Thanks for taking the time to talk. I wanted to ask you about the artifact you found on Bectera. When you pulled it from the rock, held it in your hands for the first time, how did you feel? Pretty goddamn good. No, no, I, I don't think you understand. I know about the visions, the light, and the music. How did you feel inside? What were your thoughts? Oh my goodness. That must have been terrifying. When it comes to the artifacts, it's it fucking never loud robot to me running how the around. Science, well, simply fails. <laughs> true, true. But hey, how else would you describe it? The artifacts are so different, so alien. Killing the and mood, I'm yes, Minnie, I agree. One of reached out and spoke to you. Quite the mystery. Agreed. Unfortunately, there's no way that I know of to reply. And believe me, I've been trying to gather data on the damn things for years. Frustrating? No. Bewildering? Yes. It would be... Oh, well, an explorer's dream to solve a That's mystery fair. like this. She is correct. It is an explorer's dream to solve this mystery. I knew I picked the right person for the job. Look, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to talk. And for keeping an open mind. And I also wanted to say... Well, I'm pleased we're on this journey together. <laughs> it's the best decision I've made in quite a long time. Dope. That's right, Doggy the Pug. The Field of Stars. Get your hands off me. Fuck. Submit your application to the nearest keys. Okay. Run our way back to the the scientist here. Yeah, doggy. Uh, I'm always in the camp of when people want to upgrade their PCs. Any luck tracking should, down so those sensors? I think you definitely should. Um, I enjoy playing uh, Starfield. Some people have. A lot uh, more complaints about it than I do, but uh, I've I've seen a lot of the feedback that it's got, and I do agree with some of the criticisms, a lot of them, but uh, I still have fun with the game. So, so you do, wonderful. I'll just take these, and we'll see what they have to tell us. All right, we'll just upload the data. Give it a moment. And just another moment. Oh. It is working, isn't it? Ah, there it is. A relief. Now, let's see. This is... Well, it, it's... Oh, my. Well, there's good news and... Bad news. Always. The good news is that my suspicions were correct. There is something wrong with the tree. I will report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. The phrase, I told you so, may even be uttered more than once. As it should be. Yes, it does feel good to be right. Particularly when others have attempted to convince you otherwise. Repeatedly. 
The bad news, as it were, is that the internal composition of the tree is changing. In this particular case, the tree is now regularly emitting ultra-low frequency sound waves. They're nearly imperceptible now. Son of a bitch. Strength. Not this on my watch. This is something we've never observed before. Depending on how large these waves grow, consequences for the city could be well, disastrous. I must consult with my colleagues in Mast at once. Thank you for your assistance. I hope these credits are adequate compensation. Yes. Okay, that's kind of neat. Oh, look at this. And if we wait, we can, uh, let's see here, 17, so 12, I bet you if we wait this long, it'll be enough time, and the sun should be up by then. Isn't this a pleasant surprise? I hadn't expected to run into you again. Indeed I am. The success of my previous venture, with which you so kindly assisted, has been brought to the attention of Mast. There is growing concern. Damn school panda. Oh my. A bit it's of a an sick score. pun, isn't that? Well, concern that things are going to get worse. The data we gathered points to a definitive trend. The vibrations coming from this tree are increasing in strength and frequency. Because we've never seen this before, not on this scale, we have absolutely no idea what the upper limit is. We don't know when or even if this will stop. It's imperceptible by normal human standards now, but given time. While I hesitate to speculate on the possibilities, well, none of them are good. I am attempting to formulate one, yes. But until I have all of the relevant information, it is impossible to do so. There is data regarding other, younger members of the species. Unfortunately, there are some, shall we say, personal issues with acquiring it. Always. <clears throat> per per personnel issues, if you understand me. Yeah. What? No, that is ridiculous. <laughs> I am a professional. One of the other researchers in MAST, Emilio Hadek, has research I believe could be vital to my work here. He and I don't see eye to eye, and so far he's refused to turn it over to me. I'm hoping that if someone else were to ask, he might be more inclined to relinquish it. What do you say? Fine. Oh, thank you. Last I knew, he was on a field assignment somewhere near the outskirts of the city. Uh, perhaps it's best if you don't mention my name in the process? Let's go talk to him, boys. Mind your step. Important research happening here. <sighs> Could you stand a little to the left? I think you're blocking my readings. Trees. Uh, I see what's going on here. 
You're working Something with Kelsey, saw right you? through me. Nice try, but it's not happening. No, no way. Kelton is actively ruining my career. There's no chance that I'm helping him with anything. Whatever this thing is he's on about, he's just doing it to make himself look good with the higher-ups. I'm not helping him with that. Uh, come here. Yeah, yeah, that's all very touching. But cathartic or not, my career would still be in flames. Uh, he really won't let this go, will he? Hmm. Maybe I can make this work in my favor. Okay, you know what? I'll hand over the data. But I'm only going to do so after you've helped me secure a better position in MAST. Oh, don't worry. You're just going to erase some files for me. Make sure I look good next time promotions get passed around. Fuck. Um... Well? Then I guess we don't have anything else to discuss, and Kelton can just forget about getting his hands on the data. See you around. Oh, son of a bitch. Changed your mind, did you? Willing to help me get a promotion? Wait, really? Wow. Okay. Okay. I'll follow your lead, but I wish handling Damn our it. tree issue didn't involve using illegal methods to get the job done. I've gotten a few bad performance evaluations in the last couple of years. Totally unjustified, incredibly unfair. I found a backdoor into the mass network so I could make some changes to my personnel file. But it turns out the chief engineer knows what she's doing. The only way to get access is from the terminal in her apartment, which is kind of... locked. <laughs> Sorry, that's not on the table. Here we go. From where I'm standing, Kinda seems like it is. You dick. I'm not a bad oh, we guy, did it. I swear. I just really need this promotion. Okay, look, look. Just hear me out, all right? I really need this to happen. If you do this for me, I can make it worth your while. You delete that data, I get promoted, I'm pulling in a bigger salary. I can compensate you. I'll throw in some extra credits for you, okay? A nice little bonus. But first, you need to get into the chief engineer's apartment. Fine, fine, you win. Just uh -huh. get out of my sight. And tell Kelton to stuff it. We did it, boys. I think I got them. Hope you have the data. It's really quite crucial. That he is. I'm sorry that you had to put up with him, but this data is vital. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry if this was complicated. I'd prefer to remain unaware of the details in the event that it comes up later, particularly in a legal setting. And I suppose I'd better verify the data to make sure Emilio didn't double cross me. But you have once again come through for me. I'm truly hoping that this is the last piece I need to figure out what we can do. And I appreciate it. Thank you for your assistance. What up, babe? Alright, so that's probably where I'm just going to wrap the stream up for now. We've had a good time. And uh, I've enjoyed hanging out with you all.